Hi, All Saints. It's uh, Dave here with your thought for the day. It's Friday morning. And uh, in our readings for today in the Daily Lectionary, which you can actually access through our, through our app, ASD Commons, we're in the first few verses of Luke chapter 24. And there's a key verse that leapt out at me that just let me give you a thought is, suddenly the disciples remember his words. Um, we're in the Easter season. I've been counting down the days and I've been kind of counting one way than another. We've actually now been 35 days in this shelter in place thing, homeschooling the children, all that stuff. And while that's a, that's an interesting number, it kind of tells one story. The other number is how many days we are into Easter. Um, and we are five days in Easter. And that's a much more compelling number because it helps me remember that my life isn't being marked by these unusual times marked by this pandemic, but they're actually marked by the resurrection. They're marked by the fact that Jesus has risen from the dead, that he has vanquished death, he has overcome evil, and he is making all things new. Luke 24, verse 1, begins on the first day of the week. And it's that incredible idea that creation is being recreated. And we know that on the first day, God created. And here we are on this for the first day of the week. The tomb is empty, for he is risen. And all of the creative power of God has been marshaled, has been poured out and brought life where there is death. So that they can ask uh, the question that we're reading this morning, uh, why do you seek the living among the dead? And so uh, I have here a letter that was written to me eight years ago from a, a dear friend, someone who uh, was an intern at the church where I was serving and uh, then finally decided he would take our encouragement to study, train for ordination, is now leading a church in the south of England. And he wrote me this letter eight years ago, and I found it in the bookshelf the other day, and it was so encouraging. I remembered, you know, reading those words brought back so much. And, um, and I say all that because sometimes this thing of remembering Remembering words is is so key, especially in the season where we are we're in this new normal. And so, if your um, Bible reading's gotten stale, this is the perfect season to start again, to start reading again, to actively remember again, to actively recall the teachings of Jesus. There are a number of ways to do it. You can follow the daily readings on our apps. I mentioned. Uh, a number of us, of us follow the Bible in one year, uh, as produced by Nikki Gumbel at HGB. And um, some read lots. Some of us read a verse at a time and take a, a few verses uh, through the week. Whatever works. This is a season, a gift to us, where we can remember that our time is being marked by his resurrection and we can remember his words that bring us life, especially if throughout the day you feel trapped or you rail against the lack of liberty you might feel you have. And especially as we've yet to know of any certain outcomes of all this. So my thought for you is this, what would it look like to remember his words? What would it look like um, to cast your mind and your heart on his resurrection so that the season we're in is marked by the resurrection and not by this pandemic. We're praying for you. Look forward to seeing you soon. It was so good to see you last Easter Sunday. And uh, until then, our hearts and prayers are with you and every blessing. Bye now.